This week for Stampin' Sunday, I'm putting the master boards I stamped on last week to work as card fronts. Stamping Sunday is an open collaboration hosted by Thelma Hall, and you can search the hashtag Stamping Sunday to see what everyone else has been doing with their stamps this week. I use A2 size cards, which is an eight and a half by 11 paper cut in half. So a card front for an A2 envelope is about four inches by five and a quarter inches. I want to trim this master board into card fronts that are four by five and a quarter. The beauty of master boards is they are a little bit random. I'm not really going to think about what I'm cutting here. I just want to have a straight edge here at the bottom so I'm just cutting that off and I'm going to go here and cut four inches. And then we're going to cut at five and a quarter. So I have two card fronts already. This strip of master board I will save. I can use it to punch something out or make a sentiment or a collage cluster with it, but it's definitely going to be saved and repurposed. Get another strip that's four inches wide. And now five and a quarter. another piece that I can save. I want to corner round, so I've got my corner rounder here. And then I'm gonna ink the edges with my black soot distress oxide. I find little places that aren't adhering I can just go in and stick them back down. That happens sometimes. thank you cards. I'll be using this very affordable set of sentiments that I found on Amazon. Black Soot Distress Oxide is also available on Amazon. As an Amazon affiliate, I will put links down in the description to these products. I receive a commission on qualifying purchases made through those links. There's a nice thank you sentiment here. I'll use my VersaFine ink to stamp the sentiment. This is the ink that I use the most. If you'd like to try it, there's also a link to it on Amazon down in the description. So many different sentiments in this set. I've been using it a lot.
bamboo card making. Here's how to get two A2 card bases out of an eight and a half by 11 paper. You want to cut it on the horizontal on the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. Then all you have to do is fold that in half and you have the perfect A2 card base. Let's do one more. You're going to cut it at five and a half inches on the 11 inch side to create two perfect A2 cards. Using my Scotch ATG adhesive runner, I'm going to adhere these card fronts to each of the card bases. I find this to be the most affordable way to adhere my photos to scrapbook pages and card fronts to card bases. And there's a link to a similar adhesive runner down in the description that you can get on Amazon, as well as very affordable adhesive refills. Now I have the sentiments ready to go, the master boards adhered to the front of the cards. I want to keep things pretty simple today because the master board backgrounds are pretty busy. So I have my box of flowers that I'm going to dig into and find flowers to complement complement the card fronts. I think these flowers are quite pretty, so we'll get four of those out. I'm trying to use the stash that I have. It is always tempting to purchase more, but I really want to use my stash. So there's all kinds of flowers in here. Let's just find one that would go with each card one at a time and find a flower that kind of complements. I also want it to be fairly flat. So there's some dim more dimensional flowers in this box, but I want it to remain fairly flat. So I think those will work for that card. seen so many flowers in your life. Lots of flowers here. It's kind of fun to have so many to choose from. I could put a flower on every card for a year and still have flowers left. <laughs> I'm gonna use some gold stickles for the center of the flowers. And to adhere the flowers, I'm going to use Art Glitter Glue. I'll link to this in the description. You can purchase this on Amazon as well. The label on this smaller bottle used to look exactly like this one, but it got cracked, so I put a piece of scratch paper on it.
we will let these dry and then I'll come back and show you the finished cards. All the cards have dried now, so let's take a look. I added stickles to the flower centers and a little bit on the sentiment and then randomly on the card front. I went ahead and left the inside blank because these are thank you notes and I like to write a thank you note. And then I have not stamped the back yet. I will probably use this signature stamp, hand stamped by. So there's the first card. And the second. I think these bluish, purplish flowers are really pretty. This one is quite striking, I think. There's something about that gold leaf and this kind of goldish mulberry paper in the background that's really striking. Here's the last one. Search that hashtag, Stamping Sunday, to see what everyone else has created this week. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting, everyone.